Okay, what is the period of an orbit of a satellite that orbits this distance from the center of the moon? Hmm. Okay, so we are we we want to know the period, right? So we're going to use the period relationship here. So I'm going to go. What am I going to do? I'm going to say um, centripetal force, so satellite mass, uh, and then I'm going to go times four pi squared r over t squared. That equals the force of gravity, which is g central body satellite over r squared. Now we're trying to solve all this for the period, right? Let's cancel the satellite mass. And then we're just going to cross multiply, right? So 4 pi squared r times r squared. The r does not cancel. r times r squared is r to the third, right? And that equals g m c t squared, right? And then what are we solving? We're solving for t. Okay, so the next step is to divide both sides by g m c, right? So 4 pi squared r to the third over g m c. That's t squared. Right, and then I can go up here, right, and I can take the square root of both sides, right? So the square root of this, the 4 pi squared comes out. You get 2 pi square root of the rest of this r to the third over, over g m c. And you don't have to factor this out. You could just go square root of that whole thing and ignore the beauty of the fact that you get a 2 pi, right? A lot of formulas for period have a little 2 pi on them, which is kind of cool. It has to do with radians. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're just going to plug numbers in here, right? So 2 pi square root of the radius to the third, this guy, right? 1.95 e to the sixth, right? That means times 10 to the sixth, right? Raise that to the third power. And then divide by 6.67 e minus 11. I'm using calculator notation here for no apparently good reason. And then the mass of the moon is 7.35 e22. This is how it would look in your calculator. If you have one of those fancy new TI calculators, right, you can do this. They're actually not that new, but 2 times pi times the square root of left parenthesis 1.95 e to the sixth, and then I gotta raise that to the third power. And again, you don't have to do, you don't have to put parentheses around this thing. Uh, you can actually just go to the third power and it'll it'll do it correctly. And then divide it by, and then I have to put this whole denominator in a parentheses here. Otherwise, I'll just divide by this and then multiply by this. So divided by left parentheses, 6.67e minus 11 times 7.35 e 22. Okay. Now I'm ending the radical. Oh my. Operating your calculator is like half of this. You can type it into your calculator. I'm getting 7727.25 uh, seconds, right? which would be about 7730 seconds. 7,730 seconds.